Proud boy Enrique Tarrio hit with 22 years in prison for leading the effort on that day. His was on January 6th. His was crazy. He wasn't even in the Capitol on January 6th because he got arrested on January 4th when he led the effort to tear down that Black Lives Matter flag uh, at a uh, black church. Uh, and so they arrested him, sent him out of the city. He went to Baltimore, but he stayed in contact with folks that day. He got the longest sentence out of everybody and associated that day. Uh, he, uh, he effed around and found out, Joe. Uh, and here's what, here's what the uh, federal judge said. Mr. Tario was the ultimate leader of the conspiracy. Mr. Tario was the ultimate leader, the ultimate person who organized, who was motivated by revolutionary zeal. This is U.S. District Court Judge uh, Timothy Kelly. That conspiracy ended up with about 200 men amped up for battle encircling the Capitol. He got a long time, Joe, to think about that day. No doubt about it. I mean, you know, it was a whole lot of time uh, to sit and think and reflect. And, you know, you know, when you get lawless, um, you know, there can be consequences. And, and this is a reminder. And, you know, there's been a lot of pretty severe sentences handed down lately, and rightfully so. That's where we need to be. Hopefully, uh, there's a thought about this, and people are looking at this, and we're looking ahead to 2024, because some people are thinking, um, you know, what they're thinking and, and how they're going to come off or how they're going to react to the election not going the way that they wanted to. And so, hopefully, uh, this would give them pause. Uh, because he deserved to get a whole lot of time. And, you know, Fed side, he's going to do most of that time. So, uh, you know, uh, that that's the way it goes. And uh, it's certainly the right decision. Well, Randy, this follows one of the Oath Keepers getting 18 years in prison uh, and another guy, uh, one getting 10 years. And so they've been hitting the Proud Boys and the Oath Keepers big time. And, 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 I'm, and I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. And this, this one, Tario, he ain't a proud boy. He's a lost boy. He sit up there. Did you see he had the Malcolm X shirt on? But at the same time, he's tearing down Black Lives Matter's uh, flags and things and, and, and signs and sitting up there looking black. But I'm always tripped out by these people who really think they're different. Like, he really thought <laughs> that he was different. And most of the people who were pro and at January 6th would elevate him and see him as a brother. I mean, yes, they're going to let him lead and help, but you see what, how he's getting the longest sentence. I mean, he's a lost boy. He ain't proud. Um, but they ain't done, Mustafa. The feds are still looking for people <laughs> who were involved on January 6th. Yeah, and, and rightly so. We know that these hate crimes, these organizations continue to grow and attract new folks, and that's why you got to have significant enforcement actions to let people know that this is not a game. So now Enrique will find out 264 months, 8,035 uh, days, 19,720 hours is what he's currently got. And we got to stay focused on these issues because this stuff is getting out of control with the hate crimes and these uh, organizations that continue to try and destabilize our government. Well, and again, you also saw a report that Jack Smith is even looking at uh, different states where these people try to take advantage uh, of voting machines. And so uh, they are not done. So folks are certainly being held accountable. All right.